Researching best secure credit card? Dwayne here with How to Build Credit TV, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about three of what I believe to be the best secure credit card available right now. But before we get started, I have a quick message. Once again, my name is Dwayne with How to Build Credit TV. This channel offers 100% free information about how to build credit, how to get cash back, actual cash money from using credit cards, as well as credit card reviews. So if this sounds like something in which you're interested, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's get started. When it comes to secured credit cards, there are a lot of options out there, but not all secured credit cards are created equally. That is why I decided to do this video, but instead of doing a lot of secure credit cards, I've narrowed it down to three of what I believe to be the best secure credit card available right at this moment. In regards to these three credit cards, we're gonna be looking at three different categories. Number one's gonna be annual fee. Number two will be how long does it take to graduate to an unsecured card? And number three will be, does this card offer any kind of reward program? All right, so for this portion of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my laptop so we can visit each website and see the information right in front of you. Give me one sec. All right, so as you can see here, I pulled up the Capital One website and we're looking at the Capital One Secured MasterCard. Um, this card, I actually have this card. I had it um, because I actually transferred this card from the Capital One Platinum card to the Capital One Saver card. Um, but this is a card that I started out with about three and a half, four years ago. This was the very first credit card that I got when I was trying to rebuild my credit because it was um, easy to get and there was a lot of marketing done where they kept mailing me stuff. So I said, you know what, let me check out this Capital One card and see what it's all about. So here we are at the website. As you can see, um, one of the main reasons why I chose these three cards is that none of them have annual fees. So right off the bat, they don't have an annual fee. In my mind, that's a huge advantage. So there's no annual fee. Of course, the interest rate, the purchase rate is ridiculous. I mean, they're all high at this point. So um, that for me, that's not a problem because I'm not going to have money sitting on my uh, credit card anyway, so I won't be paying anybody's interest. So as you can see here, the website's pretty clean. It's pretty straightforward. But what I like about Capital One is um, it does require a deposit, but it's a little different than other secured credit cards. As you can see here on the left where the mouse is, it says require security deposit. It can be anywhere from $49 to $99 or $200. And of course, this is refundable based on your credit worthiness. Of course, that just means, you know, you're handling your business, you're paying your bills on time. In other words, you, you're not going to go in default on your uh, credit card with these, uh, with these guys. So that's pretty straightforward. Moving on to the next one, another thing I really like about Capital One is the fact that you, you get your credit line, which will be a minimum of $200. So with the regular secured cards, you have to actually pay or deposit what you want your credit line to be. So like for me personally, I, I have the Citibank card, um, which initially I opened with $200, and I have the Discover secured card, which I initially opened with $1,200. So um, this one here just says make the minimum required security deposit and you'll get an initial an initial credit line of $200 plus deposit more money before your account opens to get a higher limit. Now that part's pretty interesting. I mean, I'm not sure how you're going to deposit more money before the account opens, but I guess you might have, you know, a week or two. So that's pretty straightforward. This is what really sold me the next thing here on the website. What really sold me personally to get this card is it says access a higher credit line. So get access to a higher credit line after making your first five monthly payments on time. So automatically, that's a huge bonus right off the bat because when you have your credit line increase, that's to your benefit um, in regards to your credit score. That benefits your credit score. So the more available credit you have, that's always a good thing. Um, as a matter of fact, you're rewarded um, by having a high credit line across all your credit cards. Like the more money you have uh, for your credit line, the higher your credit score will be. More specifically, there are different categories like um, I think it's like $2,000 to, to $15,000 is considered like average. Um, and then, um, I'm sorry, maybe not average, maybe good. Um, and then like between 
$15,000 up to 50 is another bump in that category. And then $50,000 and above is considered excellent. So that's actually important. Having a higher credit line is important and you're rewarded uh, in your credit score for having that. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, this next section just talks about personalized payments. So that's pretty cool. You can pick your own monthly due date and payment method, whether it be a check, online, or at a local branch. So that, that's pretty straightforward. Um, I've had um, a good experience with this card because I had this card personally. I still have it, but what happened was I just transferred the card from this secured card to the saver card that Capital One has. And the reason why I did that is because that offers me um, some cash back benefits. In, in other words, it gives me some incentive to actually use the card because it's just kind of sitting there and I use it, you know, every now and then maybe get uh, a meal or two on the card. But, um, but the saver card makes a lot of sense for me because I use that quite a bit. All right. The next card we're going to be looking at is the Citibank card. So I'll go ahead and go to their website. All right. So Citibank secured, uh, credit card. This one's pretty straightforward here. Once again, no annual fees. Um, the interest rate's a little lower. This one is 23.99 as opposed to 24. Um, and this one requires a secured a secure, a security deposit. And that is going to be anywhere from $200 up to $2,500. So um, this one is more traditional as far as a secured card. Um, Citibank is a good bank. Um, what I like about having Citibank as a secured card is the fact that after I'm, I've am i reached, I guess it's 18 months because uh, they hold your deposit uh, for 18 months, uh, which of course is not going to be earning any interest. But after that time is up, I actually have the, um, the option to transfer from this card to one of their other credit cards, like maybe the double cash, uh, double cash back credit card where you get 1% when you charge something and you get another percent when you pay your bill. So it's 2% basically on all your purchases. Uh, granted, you pay your bill on time. So that's pretty sweet. The fact that I can kind of graduate to another card and a card that actually gives me uh, cash back. This particular card that Citibank has does not offer any kind of cash back. So it's just pretty much a regular credit card, uh, kind of like the Capital One card, which, you know, is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's just a regular secured card that you have and the purpose of having it is building your credit, okay? Um, for me, I personally would not close any of these accounts. Um, if you open a secured card um, with any of these banks that I'm talking about, be sure not to close your account. Um, keep it as long as you need to because there are no annual fees and after a while, um, like a year or two, if you're, you know, you don't like your the fact that you're not getting any kind of cash back or rewards, give them a call and ask, hey, can you be transferred to another card or upgraded to another card? Um, and in my experiences, um, that's been the case. Uh, Capital One has allowed me to upgrade that card. Um, I'm not quite upgraded yet on the Citibank card, but I'm sure that will be uh, no problem. That's one of the main reasons why I got the card because I actually really wanted. Um, the city double cash back card, um, as well as the Citibank platinum select card. Um, I'm sorry, dividend card, Plat platinum select. Um, but anyway, um, so that's why I got a secure card with Citibank because I wanted to start a relationship with them. All right. So the last card we're going to look at is going to be the discover card, the discover secured credit card. And this one, you know, is my favorite. I mean, I'm super biased to this one because, um, I've just had such a super experience with it. In in my eyes, this is hands down the best secured credit card that you can get. Um, it's There's no annual fee and it works just like the Citibank card. You actually, whatever you deposit will be your credit limit. So for me, I just deposited $1,200 to open it right from the start because I knew that I wanted a higher credit limit. And then after a month or two, I went ahead and maxed it out at $2,500. So that's what I did um, with this uh, Discover secured credit card. Um, Discover has a lot of good things going on right here off the bat. There's a bunch of stuff listed here, but um, one of the things that caught my eye was earn cash back on every purchase. And so it says 2% cash back on restaurants or gas stations up to $1,000. Uh, in combined purchases each quarter. So 
Um, that's not too bad. Um, that's a pretty good deal. And then it says plus 1% cash back on all credit card purchases. Um, that alone makes Discover Card better um, than the Citibank and the Capital One. Um, in addition to that, uh, Citibank actually, Citibank, I'm sorry, Discover Card will actually match however amount of cash back that you've earned in your first year. So for me, that's another incentive for me to get this card because they're going to match however much money I get back in regards to uh, cash back. Uh, once again, there's no annual fee and their, uh, their interest is 24.24%. Uh, you get your FICO credit score for free. That's pretty sweet. Um, the Discover card also provides this nice comparison for you at the bottom, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I do know that after seven months, or I think it's eight months, that you are able to graduate to the unsecured credit card with Discover Card. And that's pretty sweet. That's actually really fast. Unlike the 18 months that you're going to have to have your Citibank, or Citibank credit card. Um, and with Capital One, it doesn't really uh, tell us about when you can graduate to another um, credit card. But um, or I'm sorry, to the unsecured credit card. Um, but Capital One is also very good. Like I said, hands down, my favorite is the Discover card. And I think right now I'm up to about $350 in cash back. So if you want to check out that video, be sure to click on the link. Um, I'll put a link on the screen so you can check that video out. When it comes to the best secured credit cards, just like anything else, take your time, do your research, gather all the information you can before you get involved. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.